Good afternoon, this is Pete from FigLife.com and today I'm looking at a fig variety that I don't know much about. It's uh, called Ponta do Pargo and it's from the island of Madeira <clears throat> and it, uh, it um, I haven't been able to really verify it against any photos or anything because I can't find any information about it. But, um, but it, it does seem to be different than anything I've grown before. So uh, let's take a look at Ponta do Pargo. All right, this is my Ponta do Pargo tree. And I've had it back here kind of in the, I'd say, I wouldn't say in the shade because up there at the top, um, it is getting sun. The top of this tree is getting sun, but it's been back behind some other trees. It's grown a lot. I mean, really, that's probably like nine, nine feet tall or something like that. But it's first year tree. I grew this from, I think from a cutting and uh, put, putting out some fruit here towards the end of the season. It's got a really unusual stem to it. It's really narrow on on one axis but then it's like wide on the other axis which is really kind of unusual there you can see it if I twist it um, so that's kind of a distinguishing feature of this fig it seems like I have not been able to really find any information about this fig online at all so so this is what I've got I haven't been able to really compare it to anything else so I just had several fruits here two of them had split really badly um, but then a third one uh, looked like it had not split and was okay. But they all tend to have this giant open eye on them like that. So um, that's not good news. But anyway, let's go take a look at that fruit that looked like it was ripe. Today I'm looking at a fig called Ponta do Pargo, which uh, I think is this fig right here in my hand. Um, although I cannot find even a single photo of the fruit. <laughs> so... Um, it possibly is not this fig. I, you know, I, I just can't find any photos of this to verify that this is what it's supposed to look like. But I've gotten a, uh, several of these figs off of my tree now. And um, I guess a unique characteristic of this, look at the stem. Look how thin that stem is when it's, when it's turned on, on, a, on its side like that. That's uh, kind of unusual. Now, it does have a gigantic eye, which is real unfortunate um, for growers here on the East Coast because um, that makes it probably not the greatest fig to grow here. And in fact, a lot of my, a lot of these figs split and I wasn't able to eat them. Um, I had another one like this, I think, and the eye was so big, I thought, oh, you know, that must be from the rain, let me just wait. But then now I've got a fig here, which is, seems to be ripe and still has this giant eye, still has some trouble with splitting. So I'm thinking, you know, this may be a good variety, but it's probably not gonna be good for the East Coast. So anyway, let me go ahead and cut this open. You know what, I for forgot to weigh, weigh the fig. 62 grams. All right, all right, so cut it open and at least the inside looks pretty good. Um, I think there's probably a little spoilage down here where you had that giant eye, but uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. So, yeah, looks like a little spoilage down here. All right, let me cut that spoilage off and then I'll try this thing. Okay. Let me just cut that part off. basically just eating the top part of it. Just don't want to eat the spoiled part. It didn't look super spoiled, it's just it's not gonna taste good if it's spoiled at all, so. All right, so here it is, Ponta do Pargo, which apparently, by the way, Ponta do Pargo is an island or, or province, maybe, a province, municipality, something like that on the island of Madeira. So that's where the name comes from and where the fig comes from. All right. Hmm. So just a light sweetness, 
a little bit of honey flavor. Not the best taste, honestly. Not a lot of flavor. I mean, it's late in the season, so it's not getting a lot of heat. And then it's got the giant open eyes, so that's just like, I mean, you can't, you just can't get around that. On the East Coast, growing a fig, if it has a giant open eye like that, there's just, there's almost nothing you can do with it. I mean, there's, there's just no salvaging that. So, unfortunately, now, I will say this was a unique fig, right? You don't, you rarely see figs with unique sort of features and that, that um, stem that this fig had on it was really, really kind of unusual how narrow it was on looking at it one way and then it was wide looking at it the other way. So I thought that was kind of uh, a unique feature of it. Um, so it was kind of a, I mean, it wasn't like a, like indistinguishable from like a hardy Chicago or something like that, right? So. It was kind of unique, but um, just just probably not a great fig to be growing here on the East Coast. So that was my first look at what I think is Ponto, Ponto du Prago. Although I will admit I could not find a single photo online to uh, verify that that fruit was correct. But um, but yeah, it's probably right. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.figlife.com.